Hey, we're Logan's Run. Hey, what's up? We're Paradise Spheres. Hi, we're a little way. Hi, I'm Mike from uh, Sparks Rescue. And you're on Tory Talks Music. And you're listening to Tory Talks Music. <laughs> you're listening to Tory Talks Music. And you're listening to Tory Talks Music, live from Connecticut. <laughs> Hi, uh, we're Blacklist. Uh, you're listening to Tory Talks Music. Um, yeah, we're a thrash band from Fairfield or the Connecticut area. So, Fairfield and Weston. Yeah. Tell me what the music scene is like where you guys are actually from, because I know what it's like around here. But like, what about it's in Fairfield? Shit. In Weston, it's awful. Every band is some generic, either pop punky or There's indie. There's so crap. many pop punk bands in Fairfield. Fucking emo core bands and, <laughs> and fucking gent bands and shit. And we're but, just trying to play some heavy stuff. Yeah, some like fast. thrash and stuff. Yeah. Now, who would you compare your sound to for anyone that hasn't checked you out already? Yeah, everything from like, we have a mix of everything. Well, when, when before he, Scott, lead guitar, joined the band, he brought more of a technical, like, sort of like silosis sounding death riffs, metal death metal-ish riffs, sort of. But they're still, still they're still like thrashy. We have songs from the old guitar or um, our other guitarist. He writes more '80s thrash sounding riff, more like you know, like Anthrax sounding, like all that. Kind of has like newer testament with like a little bit of an edge to it. Yeah, but he he brings sort of the technical like fast like not a lot of open notes into the riffs and <laughs> no, everything. They complicate everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's only a mix between technical death metal and newer thrash mixed yeah. with '80s thrash. <laughs> it's a good mix. It works out. Now, I have a feeling I know what your answer to this question is going to be, but it seems like you guys have like a range of influences, like over many like different decades and well, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Most of our influence comes from bands like Slayer and Revocation and Silosis and Megadeth and Megadeth. And Early Megadeth. Yeah. I yeah. hate Megadeth. How do you hate you Megadeth? Fucker. <laughs> and everything, everything heavy we like. Yeah, unless it's shit. So my question for you is, um, if you could have grown up in any other decade for the music. The 80s. 80s, New York. <laughs> no, 87 is this year, the Bay Area, with yeah. Exodus, Testament, Slayer, Legacy. Didn't Metallica move there? Me and Metallica came yeah, there. Yeah, really Metallica when they were actually... That was, that was, they were actually thrash. fucking thrash. We've never actually, like, met before this interview. No, so, never. Do you guys have any music out? Like, what's well, the... Well, we, we just recorded one track. I mean, we're dirt poor, so we can only afford that one track. But we have it, um, we'll be uploading onto our band page. My guess would be, you know, just go on Facebook and search up Blacklist. It might not come up, because we only ha we don't have that many likes. We're trying to get out there as much as possible. Our profile picture is our album cover. It's a dude getting, uh, he's screaming and he's about to get shot. By a fire explosion. By a fire pretty badass. Pleasant. Yeah, done by Tom Martin of the band Lich King. So, uh, yeah. But we, we're going to be putting the track up there real soon. We're signing with a label pretty soon. We're going to be putting out an album in the next, you know... Next, like, few months. Yeah, next few months. So look for that, too. Now, who are you recording with? Well, we're signing... There's this band, Castrophate. They're, um... New York-based. Pretty, pretty, they're getting bigger. Yeah, they play... They toured with Testament, I think. They play with Destruction. Yeah. Great Good fucking band. thrash bands, but he has a his own label, Cataclysmic Metal Records. They're from uh, New York area, and uh, we'll be recording with them, releasing off there. And Danny Castro. Yeah, Danny Castro. You could you should uh, check out the bands Castro Fate, Break of Aggression, and just Danny Castro is a solo artist. Trying to cool stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm in. So tell me about your songwriting process. Well, I mean, when this kid, <laughs> this kid. When this kid, when we, when he came to the, to the uh, interview slash uh, audition, audition, he just plugged in his guitar and just busted out this this riff, and I was just, what, what song is that? It's fucking awesome. And he's like, oh, I wrote that riff, and we just, we shit, yeah, we, we shit amazing songs out like, so fast. It's not even funny. <laughs> is it just the three of you, or is there someone missing? Well, we're missing a lead singer, Connor Gallagher. We're missing Eric Amidon. Go. You're leaving. Oh, bye. Anyways, Adios. so anyways. Oh, yeah. good. Now there's only two of you. This question yeah. is gonna get even more interesting. Uh, whatever. We both, you know, we're missing um, a singer, a now bassist, Max Weinstein. His hey. name is Scott White. 
lead guitar, Matt Johnson, drums. We're missing Eric Amadin on rhythm guitar and backup vocals. But, you know, we're a five-piece band, so. All right, now, for every member that isn't here, can you tell me something embarrassing about them? So, we were at Max's house, right? And um, it was the first day of the hurricane that was going on around here, um, Sandy, Hurricane Sandy. And we, me, and Eric, well, not me, but Eric fucking clogged Max's toilet to shit. And it was spilling out everywhere. It was fucking gross. He didn't even have shoes on trying to get the shit down the toilet. But, you know, that's funny. <laughs> Max? Everything, everything is embarrassing about Max. Yeah, everything. I can't even... This kid only been in the band for I don't know how long. Doesn't like people touching him. So you see how uncomfortable he is. I hate that. <laughs> um, uh, being the drummer, I get the shit beat out of me all and the time. And being the youngest member. Yes, yeah, yeah. But um, you know, everything happens to everyone. <laughs> you know. That's all the dirt you got on people. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> What's the biggest like challenge that you guys face being in? I assume you're all in school. Yes. The biggest challenge is actually getting people to come to shows, people getting to play at big venues. We were gonna have a show with Paul Diano, the original singer of Iron Maiden, but you know he cancels like all of his U.S. tours. We were gonna play the Webster in Hartford with that. We were so pumped, but then it got canceled. It sucks. But um, you know we play we played here at the Room, Brookfield, Connecticut, um, a bunch of times. Um, I think this is like our fifth. Fifth or sixth time. My, my first. Yeah, his first. Him and the singer's first, Connor. But, um, you know, there's a lot, you know, being our age. We're still in school, like, working around schedules and, and shit. you know, not that many metal fans in high school. Yeah, they're all just like... Dude, if you listen to, like, the new Little Wayne album, yeah. it's just so amazing. But there's and, a lot. and I hate how people stereotype, but since I'm in a metal band, that I must be a weird, creepy person. And yeah, I must be, like... I, Personally, I don't think I'm a creepy person. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, We're all I creepy. can't really judge myself. But paying back our label is going to be the, the, the toughest. We have to sell CDs, give him show money and everything. Got to pay back like twenty three hundred dollars, twenty seven hundred dollars, something like that. Now, what made you guys decide to get signed so early? Well, actually, the band has been a band. It started like. We've been, they've been a band for three years. They weren't really like that serious. I, I can say that I do most of the work, but, um, yep. uh, you know, I, I, I mean, I write all the songs, but we talk, I talk to a lot of people trying to get our name out there, a lot of music out there and everything. Um, but we just decided like we had, we have some really nice, fuck. Can you still see us? Uh, kinda. Shit, all the lights went off. <laughs> That's creepy. See me? <laughs> well, see, all I the lights see, went off I in the parking lot, oh, so, uh... So, yeah, we're gonna... This kid just, like, writes all, like, so many fantastic riffs. They're just, like, you know, they, they sound great. We can... We, 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 we build songs a lot faster than we used, used to with this guy. Thank but, you. I love you. <laughs> but, um, you know, we have, uh, we have a bunch of songs. We're just, like, writing so many songs so quick, you know, trying to... Practice them, actually get them down, have them not sound like complete shit, and um, we just decided, like, since we have all these great originals, and since he is just writing riffs constantly, it's it's like we can we th we can record and have, and we can sell that that shit to like everyone, and you know we just think we could do it. So I do want to end on a question that seems to be pretty popular among the people that actually listen and watch my YouTube channel and stuff. If you were a salad, what dressing would be on you? Uh, fuck. Oh, man. Dirt. I don't think I've ever <laughs> thought about that as being a I salad in my know. life. Well, that's the point. Being a salad. <laughs> hey, what, what dressing do you like, Sam? It doesn't matter what dressing he likes, it's what dressing reflects his personality. What's well, some I don't fucking know. brutal dressing? I don't know, I would just like cover it in like body parts and stuff. I think I'd go with some blue cheese. Uh, yeah, you're just normal. Yeah, yeah moldy cheese, probably. Moldy cheese? Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Ants crawling around. Yeah, man. Huh. Like the blue spots. Yeah. yeah. Smells bad. Or good, depending on how you like it. I don't know. Yeah.
Thank you very much for being on. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I'm trying to get out there. So. Wherever you are, because I can't see you. Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it would be right behind the light. <laughs>